Well, it's a uh, really beautiful morning to be rolling through the hills of North Carolina. I'm on my way to meet some people. Brand new spot never been to. Gonna do some fishing, do some kayaking, and we're gonna do it in a brand new kayak. Arrived. Oh, here we are. Oh, I see it. There it is. Let's do this. Let's go check out this kayak and go get on this lake. It looks awesome out there. Oh, he's solid too. What is that? Oh, a large mouth. Nice. There he goes. Not getting skunked today. Hey, there we go. We'll get them <laughs> fish. It's just my size. A little large mouth there. A little deep bank over here on the side. Number two. All right, we're still working up the stream and uh, we're going up. It's real sandy through here, so it's wide and sandy. I'm just trying to hit the sides, but we're going up under that bridge and that's where it starts getting rockier. Yeah, get up uh, another couple hundred yards past the bridge, it'll start to get a little more rocky. So it get a little rockier and like more of the the creek part is there this this creek runs into the lake or this river runs into the lake so it's a beautiful area couldn't ask for a better day to be out here Oh yeah, that's good. That's a good fish. Well, maybe not that big. Biggest one today though. Got a guide over here, put me right on him. Make a cast right there. Tyler told me where to cast, get that one. That's the longest large mouth today. Whoa, he's got a messed up lip there. He's got something going on. Kind of long and skinny. Yeah, he was in there. Yes, sir. 
Oh, I got wrapped around a log. There he is. What? Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, there's Squeaker. Yeah. Hey, the spinnerbait was a little too big for him. <laughs> Had to follow up with a humdinger. All right, we're gonna turn around, kind of go back down. We've been coming up the current. That's a, that's what I love about these. <clears throat> these kayaks are designed like this, especially this one. You can go upstream like it's it's easy to paddle upstream. And then um, now we got the rewarding part, floating downstream. We put the work in. Now we get to have fun. They're hitting a little slow, aren't they? It's mm -hmm. like. Oh, that one hit faster. <laughs> hey, that's a solid one. Good. That's a good one right there. Or at least that. I'm about to get in the tree. See, this is where I got to drop my anchor. I don't have to run into this tree right here. Got to remember this. Oh, look at that. So much easier. All right, now we're sitting here, um, not getting drifted away. I got my rods all laid down here, but Let's get the uh, catch board out and show where it goes. My feet might be in the way. <sighs> Other hand. No oh, good. I can leave my lock rods laying down and I can put the board over it. And it's at an angle. But I usually put a net there, but I can still do that, I think, once I bring my net. And woohoo! 12 and a half inches. So, I gotta figure out where to put my feet. Most people could probably put their feet right here, but I don't know if I can do that. I can actually slide the seat backwards and then slide my foot pegs back too to give me more room right here. So, I like that. Well, thank you, little large mouth. I got a fish on and I was stuck in a tree. I got a pretty good fish on. Uh, he's not giant, but he's fighting strong. He's a lot better than the other ones we caught. <laughs> well, that's not a bad guy. Yeah, he's probably 15 inches. Let's go release him. He's sticking that brush bow. Oh, he jumped. It was a half a jump. That was a weak jump. But he's, um, he's just got back from a feed on the new one. There you go. Oh. Oh. Well, all right. Yeah, he didn't want to hang on there long. Yeah. It looks really good back through here. Somebody's cut some trees. Oh! There's a deer in the water right here. He's stuck in the water. Oh, there he goes. How long has that deer been sitting there? What's that? there? You see that deer? No, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there, cutting out. Oh, I see it now. He was in the water. Yep. <laughs> He's been watching us all the time, man, because he was quiet. That's what them dogs are chasing. They're, yeah, he must have been sitting there. That's crazy. I, I didn't even know he was there until I started coming back and he started jumping around. There's a little bit of current right here, but yeah, you can get through it. I'm actually some really good uh, logs to cast in. No, 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 no. Ah!
My line's messed up. I got a fish. You got one? Yeah, and I'm all tangled up. I'll have to hand line him in. He's a pretty good one. I hope he doesn't come unhooked. Oh, he did. Oh. <laughs> that figures. I think he was 15 or 16 inches. Uh, line's all wrapped around. Well, that was a great little time on the water. Great morning to get out here. It was actually kind of nice and cool. The sun really, it barely popped out, but it felt great on us. We caught fish, had a fun. We went up the little river, floated back down, and I got to try out this uh, Bonafide RVR 119, is that yeah, what they call it? Right. First time in it, really comfortable. I, I, I was very comfortable in it, glad to be in it. Glad to take it home, because I want to take it back to my area, and we're going to put in some more tests and try it out some more. And, Obviously I love creeks and river stuff. So I'm super excited to get a kayak like this where I can, that's built for that. And uh, Tyler, thanks for having me out. Absolutely. Thanks for the kayak, most of <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah. Thank you so much, John. It was awesome. We had a great, great morning. And uh, I'm hoping you enjoyed your time in the boat. I think you're gonna get a, a lot of fun use out of it. I'm gonna have Tyler just go over this kayak and um, just kind of point out the things that maybe I, I miss and or, or don't know about yet and i'm um, just having run through that hey guys i'm tyler brown with bonafide fishing had a great day on the water i was just going to show you a few of the features that make the rvr truly a river fishing kayak and really functional really versatile uh for getting up down river as well as even on some flat water too um so what makes it unique for a river fishing kayak we tried to get the right blend of of size um with not being too heavy because you're gonna have to pick it up move it up shoals move it up a bank you know, so we wanted to make it not too cumbersome for that. Um, one thing, the key parts of river fishing is access, right? We get to those low, low pressure places. We actually catch fish. You know, it, it's a ton of fun, um, but it's really nimble on the water. So like when you're in current, you can quickly turn. We got a great feature in our drop down skeg system. Uh, basically what this allows you to do when it's an up position, you can move, maneuver back and forth really easily. And then you just drop it back down and now you can track straight up river or across some flat water sections uh, and not have to be fighting turning the boat turning. Um, we've also integrated two anchor wizard systems into the boat. These are sold as accessories after the fact, but it's great because you could be on the bow and the stern. So let's say you're going up river and you want to drop an anchor off the bow, you're facing up river, you just fish that spot, work it, work it, work it, and give you a best chance at catching a fish. And then you can also drop off the back. Um, so if you want to face down river, depending on where you're at um, on the water. Another cool feature on the hull, there's a flat spot right up here on towards the bow. So you can run your boat up onto a tree or run it up onto a bank really easy or a little island in the middle of the river. So you can hold your position without even having to drop an anchor. So really cool there. We've made it really easy to add a, a stern mounted motor um, with our anchor or with our motor plate. Uh, and there's a place for your throttle right up here um, by by the seat. Seats are hand sewn in the USA. So as John says, super comfortable yes. on the water. You can spend all day long out there and be, be comfortable. Strap, this strap's great for picking up the boat, dragging it up in places. Uh, this little paddle holder, you stow your paddle real quick if you're in a spot where you want to try to make a couple casts. The way the water drains down, the, the hole is, is designed, the deck's designed to really flush the water out quickly. So as you're going through more rapids or anything like that, it's just going to push water out fast so it maintains your stability. Anyways, tons of features on this boat. You can check it out on our website. You can check it out. John's probably going to be fishing out of it a lot, so you, he'll be able to tell you more about it too over time. But really enjoyed it out there today. A couple things that I noticed real quick, just in and out, and, and uh, yeah, I plan to use it a lot, but um, I like how the seat sits up, and it's just, it's not a high and low position, it's just one position, and it's very comfortable. You can't adjust it up and down, and the foot pedals, or whatever they're called, foot pedals. Foot pads. Foot pads, you can adjust. Uh, it's, it's got handles, like here, in the front, and like you said, on that um, strap, there's got a lot of places to just grab it and pick it up and kind of move it. And I include that handle behind the seat, too. So oh, yeah. Right there, so you can quickly grab and go. And there's one back here that I didn't even know was there. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to head back to Tennessee, and Tyler's got to head into the office. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I had a fun day out here, caught fish, enjoyed it, and that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody.